Bob. What? I know that you had reached out to Robert after seeing The Witch, mm -hmm. um, and I wondered what, you know, specifically about that movie, but just him as a director, what interested you to that degree that you... I like directors who kind of feel like um, it's a very complete world mm -hmm. in their movie, and and also the fact that it was a debut movie, you kind of, it seemed so confident, mm -hmm. and um, I really like working with people who are very, very ambitious. I mean, if that's the first movie you choose to make, which is a kind of... And pretty difficult movie, mm -hmm. even the witch, and um, I just kind of knew who want, who would want to do something cool for because there's there's something if you if you really push the boat out in the first one, it's not like for your sophomore movie you're gonna suddenly go mainstream. <laughs> it's gonna be you're gonna do something really really crazy. Yeah, so I, I kind of I knew uh, I knew he was gonna do something special. Hmm. So then you know he kind of turns around at some point and has this script for you and, and he's thinking of you for this role. What what was your reaction to to seeing that then? I, I, there was just something about this part as well. I, I I didn't really know at first read that because it's it's so it has these kind of crazy discordant tones. Mm -hmm. But you're kind of like you finish the script and you're like I wonder if he knows this is funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I mean it's like is it supposed to be funny? And like, I had absolutely no idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, hearing hearing people laugh in the audience afterwards, I'm just kind of, I'm like, wow, people, because I had no idea until mm -hmm. the first screening if people were going to get the humor or not, and uh, I'm just absolutely thrilled that they do. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny, and it's it's romantic. There's this crazy relationship between yeah. these two. Uh, working with Willem, were you? <laughs> did he ever kind of surprise you by like how far he would take things? Or yeah, constantly. Yeah, and he's like so mischievous mm. that it's kind of there's something. I think that part as well could. I mean, it could have been just an incredibly brutal, dark part, mm -hmm. and um, and with Willem playing it, it's sort of. I don't know. There's just something kind of naughtier about it, and it kind of then it's sort of. <laughs> It doesn't seem so awful, like the whole situation. Um, but yeah, he's constantly like he's 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 always he's got a very uh, he's got a very kind of um, subversive sense of humor. I know I'm so compelled by these characters, so drawn to them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we talked about the comedy kind of being right there in the script, at least in your as you read it. Was was the the sexual tension there as well? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, literally the first there's there was explicit mentions of the okay the the, the lighthouse looks like a penis. <laughs> I mean, I think it was literally written in the okay. script. But like, but like, I think, um, but it's also like it was like in, it, it's one of those kind of incredibly strange. I, mm -hmm. the, to do something which is a quite a complicated relationship, even if it was a contemporary movie. Sure. I mean, you've got it in this like very, very, very strong, detailed colloquial dialect, and then combined with it being a very specific period and place that had very like technical terms and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think it's kind of it's always really interesting doing this very primal relationship where they don't really know how to deal with each other, and it's kind of it's like very physical and emotional, and it's and then. It's the way it's presented is extremely technical. And then on top of that, with this very formal aesthetic as well. I mean, it's like, it's a crazy combination of things mm -hmm. we have at the same time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.